Welcome back guys. Today we'll be going through the salt reactor system. We're going to be using the same event that we used in the last video where the uh, the SSH, uh, SSHD config modification sent an event to the event bus and we're going to be using the tag from the event bus and triggering a reactor salt state. Now the way this works is that you have a reactor salt state that specifies another state to run. So that's basically one state running another. And I'll show you exactly how that goes in a moment. Now, uh, one thing I want to, a few things I want to make sure, uh, make sure I get across. The reactor salt state must live. It, okay, so it can live within the base environment or any other environment whatsoever, but it's best if it is kept outside of it and for better organization. You must also have a configuration for in the salt master for the reactor section. Otherwise, the salt master doesn't know which what it's going to be what's going to trigger the reaction. So, if you look at the example here, um, all of this, the reactor configuration, the tag, the reactor salt state to run, and then what the reactor salt state does is, is within the salt state. Um, that is all kept within the master's configuration, not in a repository, not in any sort of salt environment whatsoever. So that is kept under the salt master's configuration. So therefore, you must only keep it in that one place, and you have to restart. Salt master every time you change it. Um, so that being said, we're going to go ahead and put this configuration in, and then we're going to create a salt state uh, in the base environment for the reactor to use, and then we're going to create the reactor state that states that it, you know which is a particular event to listen on, and so on, and go from there. All right. So the first things first, I'm going to go ahead and put this particular configuration in the salt master. Um, so if we go back to our shell here wherever my shell disappeared to exactly. I don't remember. Oh, there it is. Okay. So the, the particular, um, excuse me, there's a lot of updates now. All right, so the tag that we're looking for is this, this salt beacon Ubuntu minion, I notify etc SSH, SSH, config. So I'm gonna go ahead and note this down in my, uh, in my notes here. Um, I'll just put it here for the time being and I'll come back to it. All right, so that's there. So that's the tag that we're looking for. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and cr uh, cancel this out so we're not listening to the event bus anymore. And we will vi etc salt master.d and reactor.conf. And I believe I might need to sudo for this one. Or am I not? Oh, we'll see. All right, so it's reactor. And if I remember this format correctly, yep, so that's the tag, and that's this. So if you look at the tag, the minion name is that actually part of the tag. Uh, I want this for every minion, so I'm going to leave that star. And of course, this is in single quotes uh, per the example. So I'm going to put in the single quotes and go from there. All right, so there's my single quotes. Um, the reactor SLS, I want it to run. Oh, I also need a colon. This is the dictionary. Okay. So the reactor SLS, I want it to run. Uh, we'll say that's, okay, we'll create the directory. I'm not going to put this in the base environment, even though that is possible. Like, and you can use this salt colon slash slash to put it in the base environment, but I'm going to go ahead and create a separate particular uh, directory for this. So it will be in slash SRV slash salt state slash reactor. So that way this will this part will stay in the um, in the code repository, but this master configuration is not going to be there. So um, I need to make sure that they work. So there's salt. Okay. All right. So I think I already started the name. Conf yeah, so I already started the um, the uh, reactor salt state, and I'll go through it in a, in a second. So this can be reactor ssh config and ssh config .sls. So uh, reactor ssh config ssh config .sls, and that's all I'll have. I don't I don't think I need anything else. So oh, of course now I need sudo. <laughs> now it tells me. Uh, and then. Yep. And 
that's star. And that'll be slash. Yep. Slash RV slash salt state slash reactor slash SSH config slash SSH data SLS. Now, this can also be any part of um, the SLS can also be uh, regex or globs. Um, you can say you can state star dot SLS, so it'll do every SLS in that particular uh, directory. But right now, for this environment, we're just going to need one. Or for this example, we're just going to need one. So there's that, and I will restart that after I got my my salt state pushed over. Okay, so now going back to this. All right, so I created a new folder named reactor, which is why I specified that in the uh, config. And SSH config is another folder. In these examples here, there's just the one. It's just the reactor and then the SLS. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try it adding a subfolder. I don't think it should complain. I think it'll be just fine. So it, it, it should be not a problem. So SSH config, and this will be SSH config.sls. So the salt state name is um, is enforce salt config, which is fine. The target is data ID. Now the data ID comes from the event. If you look at the event, and we'll go back to that particular event just to keep the example similar. So the ID is actually the minion that caused the event or where the, where the event caused, what put the event there. And so I'm going to go ahead and use that as a target. So if you, if you think about it in CLI terms, it'll be salt. Uh, and then this particular ID, right? The state, I know we're I'm running in local states, so this is going to be running inside the minion, but we say state.sls. Now, now we need another argument to state, you know, which SLS we want to execute on, right? So keeping that in mind, we need an argument to pass. So if you look at some of the examples here, you can you can pass args the args command or the args uh, um, parameter, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. So args are just the one args, and we'll say it is. Uh, can I do it this way? Let's see. Yeah, I should have no problem passing in the args uh, however I want it. So I'm going to put the args in, oops, I'm going to go ahead and put the args in uh, as, we'll call it SSH D, um, let's we'll just say SSH D. So that will run SSH D. So when you look at it from a, uh, a CLI point of view, this is exactly what happens. So it's more, since it's local state.sls, so it's more salt call since it's happening inside the minion. But that's exactly what happens. Um, so salt, the minion name, uh, state.sls, sshd, and then that, that's basically it. So if that's the CLI form, this is what happens. So we need to have this particular uh, sshd state in the base environment. Uh, by default, it's going to be running in the base environment because we're not passing a new environment here. So uh, now that I've got that in there, on the base environment, I'm just going to create a new sshd. Oh, not a file, I'm sorry. A new folder, sshd. All right. So and this is going to be... I'll create a new folder named templates here because I like to keep things separate for whatever reason. And uh, no, that's fine. All right, so shd config are uh, file.managed and Name slash etc ssh sshd config um, source is salt sshd slash templates slash sshd config. I'll put the config in there. Uh, user is root, and I believe the 
if I remember correctly, the mode is 600 or permissions. It, it is 644. So group is also root. And mode is 644. Or you can say 0644 just to be safe. I think that's all we'll need. Uh, we will also need to restart the service just in case. And I forget salt service. Uh, not, yeah, states.service, that's exactly what we want. Service.running, service enables, service, is there a restart? Running, unmask, dad. I guess I can just disable and enable this. Well, that's to start it and stop, uh, stop it during start. I guess I'll have to do dead and I'm surprised there's no restart. So I'll have to do, I'll have to do dead and running. So this is ensure that the service is, already, is dead by stopping the service if it is running. And then enable true. Okay, well, I guess that's that. So stop SSHD and service dot dead. And by the way, that's a terrible name, dead. I understand what it's supposed to mean, like stop would be a better name than dead. Um, so the name of the service is uh, SSHD, I believe it's SSHD. Yep, it's SSHD, all right. And then the I don't think I need to pass anything else. That's it. No init delay, nothing of the sort, no block. That's fine. And then start SSHD. Uh, Service.running name is SSHD and require. Um, is it required? Depends on. I forget what it was. Uh, depends. I forget my salt already. I'm pretty sure it requires. Oops. Wrong one. Uh, let me look it up and then I'll be right back. Hey guys, because the session is so long, I'm gonna go ahead and um, forward this in t or continue this in another video. So please watch it in the two of two video for this particular session. I'll see you guys there, bye.